Sui is introducing a new affordable anamorphic lens. Hi, I'm Johnny from Cinema 5D and this is Sony. Yep. Um, my name is Sonny from Seaway Optical GmbH. Sounds a bit like a boy band, Johnny and Sonny, Sony, no? A little yes. bit. But we are not here to sing, don't worry guys. We're actually to, uh, here to talk about new anamorphic Morphic lenses. Yes. But it's not, it's not only anamorphic lenses, it's actually a very affordable anamorphic lenses that yep. you are bringing to the market. Yep, I can say this one is the most budget uh, anamorphic lens in the market. Yeah, and, and just to start, actually we are filming now on our Fujifilm X-T3 yep. with your 50mm anamorphic lens. So yep. guys, this is my chance to be actually a bit taller unless you just squeeze me back mm -hmm. and then I'm a <laughs> smaller again. But yeah. Um, yeah, that looks quite promising and of course this is not a review or anything, but mm -hmm. just to give the guys an idea yep. how, how we look in an anamorphic way. Yep. So you have uh, created only one lens but yep. in different mounts, am I right? Yep, that's why we, for the moment, we only have the 50 millimeter anamorphic lens and in three different mounting. Uh, we have the X mount, E mount, and M forcer. Why did you choose to start with 50 millimeter? Uh, because we, we have the technology to, to build up this optical, so we need to, to uh, try to make something in the middle to try and in the future we're going to make something wider and further for the lens. Okay, and you chose to go with one, uh, 133 for those lenses? Yep, that's right. Why, why is that? Uh, I think the 133 is the most more popular in the market, but we also is possible we think about the two times. Really? Yeah. Even two times? Yes. Okay, I mean, I guess still most of the cameras out there are 16 by 9 has a, have a 16 by 9 sensor, so yeah. probably the 133 makes the sense. Mm -hmm. um, and when it comes to pricing and availability, uh, this lens is going to be available on the early of next year. Uh, I, I say it's about January of 2020. And do you, do you know already the pricing of that yes. lens? The retail price is around 700 euro. 700 euro yep. for an anamorphic lens, yes. not adapter, lens. Yeah, it's a complete lens, so it's a very good price point in the market. Very interesting. And when it comes to um, light sensitivity, what is the uh, what is the f-stop of the? Uh, 1.8 aperture, this one. 1.8. Yeah, that's good. Right. And um, then maybe we also have uh, one information is about the, um, the minimum focus uh, distance is uh, 0.85 meter. Okay. For the lens, yes. Centimeters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 0.85 meter. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. It's 85 yeah. centimeters. Yeah, yeah, 85 centimeters, yes, that's right. And the, the weight for this lens itself is only around 560. So it's very it's, it's, Excuse me, how much is the weight? Uh, 560 gram. 560 grams? Yep. Doesn't matter the amount. Each lens weight the same? Yes, yeah, around the same, yeah. Is it possible to add an ND filter in front of the lens? Yes, uh, the diameter is 67. It's possible to, to also add on a filter in, in the front as well. Okay, so just to show guys, this is the, you know, without glasses, this is the E-mount. Amazing, it's simply, it's simply amazing. The, the, it's so lightweight. And this is the X-mount. We have one on the camera and one yep. here. And the micro for, micro for fur, do you have somewhere here? Or? Yeah, the micro for fur one, we already put it on the GH5 in here. Cute. Yeah, everybody coming over here to say this one is very cute compared to the other one. Yeah, very yeah. nice. Yeah. Personally, I'm really, I'm really happy uh, to see those lenses because maybe this is really now the beginning of uh, affordable anamorphic shooting, yeah, yep. and it's not that uh, you know. Probably you're not competing the uh, other manufacturers with very very uh, expensive lenses, mm. and yep. I don't know how the optical performance will be. I hope it will be. I want to say good enough. Maybe for some it's not really good enough, but good enough for some of the productions uh, that we do, mm -hmm. uh, because immediately when you put an anamorphic lens, yep. it simply looks different, more appealing. Yep, that's right. Okay. So that's what uh, our want to do. We want to build a, a good quality and a perfect land and in a very uh, affordable price for the people to use. 
Good. So this is Sonny. I'm Johnny from Cinema 5D. Guys, thank you very much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you.